Good morning. Welcome to our daily readings in 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Today's passage was 1st John chapter 2, verses 18 through 27. He's talking a lot about false teachers. He's talking about how these false teachers have um, enticed some to leave the church. And, and John says, you know, if, if they've left, then maybe they weren't really a part of us. And then he talks about the false teachers some more. My family and I just finished playing a game. Uh, I'm recording this on Sunday night. Family and I just finished a game. It's an app. You download the app. It's called Psych, P-S-Y-C-H. Uh, and in the game, you're, it gives you, you, you're trying to make up words or make up answers that they will believe, and then you pick either the wrong answer or the right answer. You get points for picking the right answer. You get points if other players pick your wrong answer. So if you're bored, uh, wanting to spend some time, I really am missing spending time with people. Uh, and so games like that with our family uh, gives us a little bit of that. So the, the game's pretty fun. But in that game, you're, you're lying to people, trying to get people to believe you. And that's what John is talking about. And out of all the things that John could tell his followers, the Christians, he only really picked one thing, one lie, one false teaching. And that was that Jesus, those who believe, who didn't believe in Jesus, who did not accept him as son of God or did not accept him as the Christ, God's anointed one, the Messiah. That was it. He didn't talk about anything else, but he said, if, if they are teaching that Jesus is not the Christ, then stay away from him. Makes us think that with all the believers today, uh, we need to make sure there are people who believe in God and yet do not accept Jesus as the Messiah or as the Christ or as his son. We need to make sure we're staying away from that kind of false teaching. But the people who accept him as the son of God, as Christ, maybe we have more in common with them, should have more in common with them than sometimes we act like. I uh, want to close with John's words from the end of that uh, section in chapter 2, verse 26 and 27. He says this about the false teaching. I am writing these things to warn you about those who want to lead you astray. But you have received the Holy Spirit, and he lives within you. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true. For the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know, and what he teaches is true. It is not a lie. So just as he has taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. That's it. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, our Savior. We remain in fellowship with him. Those are John's words to encourage you in your walk today. Let's pray. God, we thank you during this time that we can remain in fellowship with you, that we can uh, remain in fellowship with one another. I pray that your believers over the whole earth will draw close to you and draw closer to one another during this season that the world is in. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day.